This is the plaintiff, Nicholas DiMartino. He says he was innocently walking his Yorkshire Terrier on the leash one day, and the defendant's dog lunged, bit his dog, and wouldn't let go. Now a chunk of his dog's ear is missing. The defendant has eight summonses for letting his dog run loose, and he needs to pay for what happened. He's suing for $475.48 to cover his dog's medical bills. This is the defendant, Jaleel Dunn. He says the plaintiff has a problem controlling his temper and making sense when he's in an excitable state. Bottom line, he returned home to a screaming plaintiff stating his dog scared his mother, never once mentioning an attack, a bite, or any kind of injury to his own dog. Two weeks later, he gets served with his lawsuit in the mail. He has no idea why there are any vet bills in the first place and wants to get to the bottom of this because none of it makes any sense. He's accused of failing to control his dog. All parties, please raise your right hand. What you are about to witness is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in civil court. Both parties have agreed to drop their claims and have their cases settled here before Judge Marilyn Millian in our forum. The People's Court. Be seated. Come to a piece. <laughs> Litigants have been sworn in. Thank you, Douglas. You Nicholas DiMartino, you are suing Jalil Dunn for $475.48 in vet bills that you had to incur as a result of uh, his dog getting out. Tell me what happened. Uh, I was basically uh, just walking my dog around the neighborhood like I normally do on, my le on the leash. Uh, I rounded the corner. I saw two dogs that were unleashed. One was a pit bull and one was a, like a, a basset mix hound. I knew it was trouble right away. Okay. So I, I didn't have anything on me, so a uh, phone or anything. So I, I said, come on, Sammy, let's go. That's the name of my dog. I tried to turn back. Before I knew it, the pit bull came on my dog. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, a little Yorkshire Terrier, like Dude, 10, you didn't pick the dog 10 up? pounds. You know what? It happened so quickly. Yeah. Like it was on him, like before I could even do anything. Right. Um, Latched onto him, my dog started screaming in pain. Um, you know, everything's happening at once, so I just took my fist and pounded on its head for like four times, the pit bull. Didn't it do did, a thing. Did nothing, no. did nothing at all. And luckily it had a collar on, so I grabbed it by the collar, I yanked it up, kind of like choking it off the ground. Then he let go. In the meantime, my dog's bleeding everywhere. I pick my dog up in my left hand, I'm holding the pit bull on the right, and then there's the, the other dog, he's like growling at me, this little basset hound. Sure, because you've got the pit bull by the collar. <laughs> and Is nobody, there anyone nobody's else around? around. Nobody's, nobody's around. around, you're no. alone? I'm alone, so I'm oh, like. And with no phone. No phone, nothing. I learned my lesson. But yeah, right. <laughs> so I started walking back to my house. I got and maybe, what, with the pit bull following you? No, I'm holding the pit bull, choking him. Oh, right, I mean, with the basset hound like, following you? Yeah, it's like barking around me. So you know, you've got your Yorkie in one arm. Bleeding all over me. You've got the bleeding all over you. Right. You've, got the, you've got the pit bull by the collar? By the collar, because I didn't want to And that pit bull it, didn't turn around and bite that's you? That's what I was afraid of. It could maybe turn so around. So you're just holding him out so like I'm this? I'm holding him kind of out, like, but holding him in the air. Well, you're strong. Give him a little pain. You're strong. Yeah, a little. <laughs> yeah, okay, but, but so where did you go? So I walked down to um, maybe four houses down, and luckily there was somebody outside, and I said, can you please call 911 and right. get the police out here because my dog's bleeding. I didn't know if he had him, like, got him by his neck because this could be a life-threatening injury. Right. You know, and this other dog's there, and I can't let him go, the pit bull. And what's a basset hound doing? He's just walking around like, like growling. And but not really. I'll, no, I'll I'll bark, was, no if button. he started coming on me, I don't know what I would have done. Exactly. Kicking All right. or so, something. So, uh, so what happens? Police come? So then that guy calls the police, 911. Police don't come. They, they contact animal control. Right. Animal control finally comes um, probably like 10 minutes later. So I do eventually let that pit bull down after I choked it for about five minutes because I figured he had enough. And he did, he did finally like stop. Then he kind of ran off. So I make it to my house because um, I wanted to take him to the vet right away. So then I was kind of waiting for animal control to come out because I wanted them to find the dog because he had a collar on to say who the owner was. Right. You know. So then animal control came out. I was, they got the dog. I just went to the hospital right away, the vet hospital. Mm -hmm. um, the animal control guy picked the dog up. It was to his address. He's the owner. Uh, supposedly he went to his or he came to pick the dog up. And he gave him like two summonses for dogs running on the loose. Um, and not having licenses. No license. What happened? Uh, with the license? No, what uh, happened? Were you there when this attack happened? No, I wasn't there. Who no. was there? 
Uh, I'm not sure. Well, nobody was there for you guys, but uh, but I'm just asking who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs, how'd the dogs get out? One of my siblings, most likely. One of my brothers or sisters. And how did the dogs get out? They left the, the door fence. open? No, through the fence. The, they, there was a broken part of my fence and they got through it. Yeah, how many times does that happen? Uh, probably like five, seven times. Really, you think that's okay that your pit bull roamed the neighborhood five or seven times because you don't get around to fixing your gate? No, I, I don't think that's okay at all, but they also found other ways to get out of the gate. Well, so then I, you can't have a pit bull. If you can't figure out how to contain the pit bull, you can't have the pit bull. In fact, if you can't figure out how to contain Fifi the Poodle, you can't have Fifi the Poodle because we have laws about the dogs roaming free. Mm -hmm. And especially dogs that are, their instinct, their breed is, you know, territorial. Apparently, your dogs think the street belongs to them, okay, because they're territorial about the street. Who's the fellow with you, moral support or a witness? No, nah, he was uh, just one of the uh, moral support and witness, both. And witness? Yeah. Okay, what's sure. he a witness to? There was an incident where um, my dog had ran away. A different one? No, nah, it's the same dog that we're talking Similar. about. Similar. Right? So yeah, on yeah. a different time that your <laughs> yeah. dog ran away? Yeah. Um, Come on up. I believe well, that's... that's... How we want to hear it. Right there. Hey, hey, Hi, how, how are you? I'm good. How you doing? Okay. Did you witness this dog getting out another time? Uh, no, I always went to... Why are you here? Besides being his friend, uh, why are you here? I got a car. Okay, you've got a car. <laughs> <laughs> Did you witness him? Did you witness a dog? Did, were you ever a witness to his dog getting out a different time? Uh, I always went and found him. Like I said, I got the car. You all, so then the answer to my question would be yes, if you always yeah, went and found him. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, oh. So when you're saying I got a car, not that you were giving him a ride today, but that whenever his dog would get out, since you had a car, you would go find him? No. Is that what you're saying? Can you just talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell no, forget me. You talk. Go ahead. Me talk. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have a car, so I drove here today. He's my best friend, known him my whole life since I'm a kid. I have a car. He said, I live down the street. He said his dog ran away the one time. I go with my car and drive around the neighborhood to find him. Doing anything bad? No, that's okay. uh, his dog. Since was, he's your best friend, has he ever told you about the dog biting anybody? No, I'm over his house every day. His dog's <laughs> friendly. Well, yeah. Guys, you yeah. know why the dog doesn't bite you? You're over his house every day. Yeah, he knows yeah, you. Bro. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, right. Seen him around plenty of people. He doesn't bite nobody. Well, uh, he bit this dog. What do you don't you don't think he bit this dog? You don't yeah, think he bit this on. dog, right? Uh, nobody was there but him. Why don't you think that dog got because bit? Because of the. You, you think that the dog would bite just the dog and not the owner himself for trying to grab him away from the dog? So you don't feel his dog got attacked because he didn't get attacked? Yes, ma'am. I didn't give him a chance so to attack. So when your pit bull him. roams loose and bites a but, dog, you would prefer to see the owner bit too. No, before that's, that's what would be sufficient proof nah, to you. Those, that's, that's not what I said. I, I said if the, he attacked the little dog, and he obviously said multiple times he was punching on the dog. You don't think the pit bull would attack him after he got he was getting punched on? Hey, let me tell you what I think. I think I've seen enough pit bull cases to know that they don't unlatch. They keep latched. And you can punch him a million times unless you put a hose on him. You know, they're not going to unlatch. So if he latched to his, his little chihuahua, you, think you, you don't think okay, he'll Okay, show me the pictures of the injuries. I don't have a chihuahua. I have a Yorkshire Terrier. A Yorkshire Terrier. And I got pictures. Yeah. Let's see the pictures. And you have a vet bill. Let me see yeah, the vet bill. bill. What happened with your dog that day? He was brought back to my house. By who? Animal control? No, nah, Tommy, my friend here, Tommy. Oh, you found the dog that day? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you're on. Okay. Did you get any citations? I thought I was aware. You didn't get any tickets? Oh, no, yeah, for the, yeah, yeah, I got two tickets. Yeah, what were your tickets for? Uh, two dogs running at large. And then did you also get tickets for having unlicensed dogs? Because yeah. your dogs don't have licenses? Yeah. Okay. Did the plaintiff ever come talk to you? No, man. Uh, no, he never talked to me about anything. Did you ever meet him before today? I met him, I think, one time. How did you meet him? It was an altercation with uh, my dog was loose and... The first. Another time? Another, and this is another attack on a, on a neighbor's dog two weeks later, mm. and that dog was had a hematoma on the side of his face. And you gotta a, be kidding me! And he me. had a $1,200 After vector. this? Yes, after this. And there's another one after this, if you want me to tell you that one, too. No, you gotta be kidding me. He was loose again, and he attacked my neighbor's dog, but they I, But I don't understand. House. How does animal control not confiscate the dog? That's what I thought. I thought they would put it down by now. I have no idea. And they keep saying they can't take the dog because it's his property. Unless they kill a dog, that's the only way they can take the dog. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. We are uh, in Los Angeles. 
Uh, and we are in front of the TMZ uh, Celebrity Tour Bus with these fine folks. Yay! Yay. Uh, we decided to do this here and uh, talk to people from all over the world who are having fun. So the question, are pit bulls more dangerous than other dogs? You're raising your hand. Yeah, it's a creative breed. A lot of my homeboys in Hollywood, South Florida are going to be upset about this, but it's a creative breed with a chemical imbalance. Oh, wow. That's, you know what? I've never quite heard it put that way before. What do you think? I think it depends on the owner. So you're blaming it. You say it's the owner if there's a problem. Who's the tiebreaker here? You're nodding no. Come all the way in here because I see you're not. It, no, about, you it doesn't matter about a chemical imbalance. If you raise it to be a decent dog, it'll be a decent dog. That's so just wrong. an excuse. So oh, boy. I should just zip it up. Going inside the courtroom. The original guy that he said uh, he had... Uh, Bring attacked. him these pictures, please. Me, uh -huh. he had came to my house and we talked face to face, man to man, and we settled the uh, situation at hand. He said he understood. Uh, he understood like, what? Your need the, to have your situation. pit bull roam free? What, no, he said you know, he understood the situation I was in. What situation are you in? Uh, he, he told me, because I, I don't have- Listen, it's an accident once. It's not an accident six times. It's not a, three times that he knows about and two of them are after this one? Are you kidding me? You just don't care about anybody else but yourself. Take a look at the pictures right now. Think the dog got bit? Do you see the dog's ear being, that was chewed? You don't see that? I see blood on his ear, man. Okay, so what do you suppose happened? You think he bit his dog so that he would have evidence against you? I don't know what happened, you? I wasn't there. I wasn't there for the, the, what happened at the event. You I was, should not own dogs. You're not responsible enough to own dogs. Because I got to tell you, I'm, if this was my neighborhood, we wouldn't have a problem anymore. You're not allowed to have a dangerous dog that continuously roams free. You're not. My neighbors are starting to walk with bats and knives now when they walk their dogs in the neighborhood. It's, that's, it's getting to be that bad. Because they just don't know when this dog's going to be loose. That's right. That's right. $475.48, verdict for the plaintiff. Pay the man, plus your court costs. Let's see what the defendant has to say. Come on in, uh, stand right here. Tell me, do uh, you think the dog was bitten not now? Now that the case is over, you think his dog was bitten by your dog? I don't know exactly if my dog was the one that bit his why, dog. Why would he just pick you out and drag you into court and pick out a number like $475 to sue you? Because there was an altercation way before that too, but it wasn't, you know, we, we didn't discuss it in the courtroom just now. It wasn't, you know. Are you worried about what your dog might do next time to uh, another dog or a person possibly? No, I'm not worried because he's handled responsible now and he was before it was just a slippery slope when he had ran away. That's it could happen I'm, again. No, it can't, it won't happen again. All right, into the car and back home. Yeah, All right. in New Jersey. Okay, right. head, head out this way. <laughs> All right, so uh, what do you think of this outcome here? I'm happy with the outcome, but I just don't think he learned his lesson at all. I think it's going to happen again, and, and eventually he's going to kill another dog and, until this ends. You're walking around with knives and bats? Yeah, uh, I'm walking around with a knife. Some people walking around with a bat. It's getting to be that bad, so hmm. it's the only way to take care of this dog. All right, well, be careful. I will. Harvey. Okay, I got to tell you, if you live next to a dog owner who's irresponsible as the defendant, you got to call animal control and you got to file a complaint. They can actually take the dog away if the owner is putting everybody in peril.